this is it Coriax tail with some spinners, bean, vegetable, rice and peas, fry plantain. Can't get no better than this. Can't get no better than this. Look at it. Look at that. Look at it. That's butter. Check, check. What up, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of One Amory TV. Stacey representing Genesis Amrita. Shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you for the love and the support. Today we're going to have something special for you. What are you doing today, Stacey? Making curry oxtail. With? Bungo rice and peas. Chablaus and skirt. So she said, a curry oxtail on the menu today with gungo rice and peas. So for now, just come from the store with the oxtail. So she had to cut the excess fat from it even though they already cut it up and um, skim it off but as always we have raised some extra fat on it so we're going to go ahead and take off this extreme fat so when you're cooking it it don't have too much oil because if you've been following us you know we are not a fan of the oil we are not a fan of the oil genesis mm -hmm. say hello hello i'm rita so <laughs> yeah so stick with us and this gonna be amazing it's gonna be delicious it's gonna be nice so stay tuned and i'm gonna share with you a secret hear that secret recipe so make sure you stay tuned yeah so while stays here about this so i think the axe seal we just go ahead and start with the piece so we are use some dry gungo peas today and call it pigeon peas, but no, Johnny can call it bongo peas. Yeah, so. It's a drop in at the bottom of the pot. Healthy. Choose it dry. It will take a long while to cook, so we just have to put in a pressure pot and run out some of the time. So we are going to go there and wash up this. We're going to wash out a piece here. Yeah, so get some water on it. I'm gonna set this on on the stove now. Yeah, I'm gonna turn this by Ica. Wow, burn out some time now. Yeah? Over here, we have some garlic. So, we're gonna crush these garlic. And of course, the garlic is already washed. I'm gonna apply the garlic inside of the pot with the peas. And then I'm gonna put the cover on. And that should be set for the next 20 minutes. So within 20 minutes, uh, 25 max then we come and remove the cover and get it seasoned for the rice well since you have still working on the oxtail already take up the excess fat and wash it up so 
So from the same home, it's clean and pretty. Um, off camera just now, she just use the vinegar and the lemon water to get it all fresh, clean, pretty. So stay tuned while I show you some of our secret recipe, you know. What kind of seeds we use to get it right. Yeah. Next step with the oxtail, we have to apply some season. Stay safe. What now? Stay safe. Fermenter seal. Yeah, two inch of fermenter seal. Yeah. Two inch of thyme. Yeah. Crushed garlic. Oxtail seasoning. Grace. Um, we don't really know what I'm going to do. I mean, our winter knows so everything frozen, even the season inside the house frozen. <laughs> so, you have a sweetie. Laurie's. Yeah. The boss has seasoned this, you know. <laughs> when you come to season, you see the boss. She's a, she's a food for your taste. <laughs> Adobo. Our favorite season this too. <laughs> she not left that. <laughs> oh, one thing for sure. Two things for certain. Two things for certain. And we're gonna use turmeric instead of curry. Okay. So this is my part you now. Mm -hmm. So instead of the curry, we use the turmeric. Instead it's healthy you now. Better than the curry, so we get a turmeric flavor to the so if you haven't checked it out as yet, just try it. Whenever you curry chicken, goat or anything, just Substitute it. Yeah. Work with the turmeric. You can even use it in a tea. So it have the same color with the curry. More benefits. Then we're gonna season. Rub it in. I use my hand and I don't need no gloves. You gotta make love to your food. Hmm. So when you make love to your food, how are you doing me? Hmm? A food we are talking about. Yeah, exactly. So we, we make love to the food. A food we are talking about. Okay. It's a make love to the food. That's why I have to make love to my phone, you know. <laughs> love my phone more than anything else. Anyhow, back to it, you know. So she's going to rub it in. And the season gets used to the meat, you know. Because uh, so they have to cook it there, you know. So they have to know each other from before they go to the pot. Yeah. So she uses the lorries over there, so she uses the adobo. And um, she was some oxtail season and the turmeric, some crushed, freshly crushed garlic, and some thyme. Oh, I need pepper, country pepper. Yeah. Mm. Uh, jerk so while she uh, rubbing this, now I'll go for one. Add pepper over that, so. So this are actually from the farm in the back of the yard. So now I'm going to dice up inside this yard while they're hanging on the curry, you know? Just put everything in. Mm -hmm. The sea and everything turned in. Yeah. As me and Lee still about MP for ya. A scotch bonnet, you know, but they're not, they're not as hot as you all think, you know. It, it's just enough to flavor the food and get it right. So that's why we're able to use one and still able to eat it. Even the kids eat it. We don't complain about any pepper, any spice. So this should be all set. That's it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. We're going to let this sit for about an hour or two and now we're going to go on the road and come back and get it going. So, still in about two hours. We're officially back. Spend about two hours on the road and um, axle over here, so season well marinating. Checking, checking for the peas over here, so. Yeah, peas well cooked. So we are get the coconut milk together 
and um, start the ball of fire. So we'll go ahead and apply the coconut milk freshly blend. Yeah, and um, I like this. So I just season up this to the right thing. These are little vibes. I do a little season. Right, it's a tag team thing, you know. And a one man thing, you know. Tag team and tag team mean two people. So stay in the background, so. Watch your eyes, give me now. Watch your eyes, watch your eyes. Put your full eye belly in shape, you know. Makes you proud, man. So now that the coconut milk inside, we're going to apply a little salt, just a little, a little all purpose. Yeah, we have some skillet now, that's so already washed. Yeah, so our usual though, so the skillet is actually bring it up. Yeah, crush it. So you get all the vibes out there, you know what I mean? Yeah, and then. Yeah, put a look up piece of paper and then eat a look of vibes. You know what I'm Yeah. And then we have a piece of thyme. So I'll drop a piece of thyme in it. And of course, this is how it looks like. So I'll make that one boil. Boil down a little because we have to make the coconut milk well cooked before I apply the rice in there. So in about 15 minutes, when everything boiling together, then yeah, we apply the rice. You know, it's same speed at right time. Stay so I just get the axe tape going. But since the rice now uh, to cook, we have put the rice on this small side of the stove. Turn on this. While stay so come apply the dutch for the axe steel. Because we have put the axe steel in the dutch part today. We now pressure the axe steel car. Well, the axe steel can have that nice gummy vibe, you know. We now pressure it and it cook out too much. Yeah, so we are just apply a little bit of oil on the pot here as soon as you get that. So we are cook up the side here. Yeah. Go on, cook. We now lock it down. Just put a little bit of oil. Yeah, that should be enough. Because uh, as you all know, oxyl are produce a whole leaf of oil, you know what I mean? So we don't want it too greasy. So as soon as this hot, we apply the oxtail and show it the whole hundred. Pot look hot over here, so yeah, super hot. So we are just come through the axe here, same speed. Basically, we just have one story, so you know, stick to the bottom of the pot. So, curry wax seal is in there, you know, see it look burning like a french fry or a brown steel, you know, so 
Ich bin da auf alle Pots. Ja, ich sehe ein Spiel. Warte, nice! Ja, das war Kobo, das war auch, 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 so a nice eating of curry hot steel and rice and bean. About a minute later. So we just apply some water in it and we get ready to start cooking now. Yeah. Time to check in again. Yeah, we have a long way to go, so we're gonna apply some more water. Actually, pull it up more this time. Make it go on. Cook for a minute. So since we're not using the pressure pot, we have about two hours of boiling and stirring and boiling and stirring. So we have cut the shark, put the water in it. it up and make it go and cook so as soon as it cook and the water get low then we start apply some season as in onion pepper and the whole works so we start going to cook it out on the water for now so see you in a few yeah check in on the pizza now it's in process throw this Right, look nice. So we have a good piece of butter in there. Yeah. Fry the butter. So as soon yeah. as the butter is melted out, then we are gonna wash the rice and throw it in, make it go on steam. So now that we have the rice washed, we have to apply it to the pot. Yeah, when I use rice cooker, I put cook pot, um, cook rice, you know. We use pot, water, eyesight, and judgment. So, oh, rice is single. We don't want it soft and pick it, pick it from the rice cooker. So, rice apply, stir it in. This is how it looks like rice and gongo peas. 
and I look about up on the top, so we are going to cover that up now and water go down so cover up that then you want to keep the fire too high so you keep it on a medium make the rice go on steam because I know fire now water cook rice a steam rice steam so if you never know now you know steam rice steam so you don't want too much water and too much fire take a peep from the axle over here so woo, look at that that's still a boil. Yeah. So walk back that again. Yeah. Give them some time to know themselves, know each other. While they go and sit back and watch the vibes. So now that the rice dry out, water down, they will turn the stove as low as possible. Make it go on steam. The proper way, yeah. Come here, do the fog and stir it over a little, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say we now want a soft rice, so yeah, keep it. As single as possible, you know what I mean? That is it. So we have to cover up my piece again. Make it continue steam. That is it. Back steam is still over here, so I'm going to bag of, bag of things. Final check in on the rice. Final check in. Set the camera nice. Yeah. Yeah. Fully steam. Some gungo peas. So we have a box torch or so. Yeah. We have a need a pop there to something else. Take a time, I'm sure it was not fun for you. That is it. Rice done cook. Put the one side and wait on the axe tail. The giant name. So we have to take this one side and put it over here. So, yeah, so now that the rice done cook, then we focus on the axe tail. So I apply some more water. Yeah. Yeah, so now that the axe tail boiling down we're going to apply some seasoning so we have two carrots over here two pieces of scallion some green pepper red pepper and um some additional scotch bonnet pepper um we put some in there before but it's still not uh you can deal really taste it we have half uh, onion over here and um a little thyme god bless the little thyme that live in the container so, we're gonna start by just washing out these. Yes. Now that is our wash off, we're gonna go ahead and cut them off.
these are actually what gives the food a, a flavor the natural white you know Same for the onion We're going to go with about half of this pepper. Mm -hmm. And for the scallion. Start looking like a garden. And for the carrot, we'll do that. We're going to cut them a little bit smaller. You can cut your vegetable however you want to cut it, but I just choose to cut it this way. You don't want them too big in the pot. So I'm going to use half of this carrot right here. So we're gonna put away this half by now with the boil. And this is what we're gonna to use to season the oxtail. So within a few minutes, I'll be applying these vegetables into the oxtail. So we're gonna check in and the oxtail, so it's coming down. Come see it. So, yeah, I have cook now, so. So it's like after I season them now. Start onion, pepper, green pepper, red pepper, chili and onion pepper and the whole works. Stir it in. Yeah. That's what I thought about, right? So we're gonna lock up this and give it about 10-15 minutes. We put on simmer down and by then we're ready for it. But we forgot one more thing. We are gonna make some little spinners and, and drop in it to body it up. And when it actually go down, then we just drop in the butter bean and final touch. So we're gonna make some spinners and help. Alright. Yeah, time for the nice part. So we have some flour. Wow, spill it. So we are throwing some flour. We're not doing a measurement now, we just have to do this thing at free hand. That's good. Mm. So we're splashing some calm here. So we don't want the white flour thing now. Yeah. And then we're gonna splash a little salt. Because we're not doing a measurement, we are doing this thing too long to measure, you know. Judgment and sights and all these things. Mixing the calm meal. And the flour and the salt together. Some water, yeah, so. Try some water and get it together. More water. The supply of water is needed till it starts farm. Don't scare fear the water, because without water, it can't mix. Water mix it.
Ya. Boleh faham sih eh. Tapi apa nak pun. So ya aku nak nil make it mile. <coughs> That is it. Lo ya kan no still. Ya kan dom pun yang aku. Yeah, so this is it. So we are making small spinners and apply it to the pot. More the merrier, you know, from quicker. <clears throat> so, with that teamwork, you know. Look at the look, baby. Yeah, that's Amrita. Always making complaint on each other. She and Genesis. So I make two big dumplings and cream can mm -hmm. Yeah, so I make two big dumplings over here. So in two big dumplings yeah, after the Genesis, because the Genesis is not like rice, you know. So like dumpling. So I drop into big dumpling right. Yes. Yeah. And next week I get a curry cook up. Everything I cook up in the one next week. Curry chicken with dumpling and yam. Everything in the one. I'm here for it. Yeah. Good afternoon. Yeah. How is it? We have a story to you, make a chicken. in. And remember that little secret that I told you I'm going to share with y'all. I'm going to go get it. Okay? I'm going to go get it. Just give me a minute. Check in for the pot again. Stay here as I match up the plant. Eh? If you know, you know how good nice it's right plant from the side. Check in for the oxtail also. Whenever the oxtail boiling down like this, Anything you're cooking and it boiling down to the gravy. You want to make sure you check in and you stir as needed because you don't want it to actually stick to the bottom of the pot. Because whenever it starts going down to the gravy, it starts, it tends to get 
thick. Uh, whenever it's simmering down, it tends to get thick. And you can't afford that. You don't want to stuff to the bottom of the pot. You want to enjoy every bit of it. So you store as needed. Yeah. Organize that thick. Mm-hmm. Butter bean now. Yeah, so time to apply the butter bean. So you can simmer down together. So I'll put on this for a second and I'll get the butter bean. Alright, sit down. Now. Yeah, time to apply the butter bean. Yeah. So we are use two grace butter bean from the can. So we also have pop the top. We also have a pop the top of it. Alright. On this tush. Hey. Seriously? Alright, something that's right. So unfortunately, we're supposed to open a can, pop off, so we'll use a knife. Get oh. So this is what I like. We are going to drain out the water because we don't need the water, you know. Whatever you need to preserve the bean, we don't need that. Here you have it, water half. Butter bean. Yeah. Yeah, the two can. Then you store, restore, I don't think you pop up in your mouth, I can't come out. We need to get in one dumpling there. Now the taste of it, you know, it's special. Yeah. So I think it's about five minutes. You see my down a little bit more. And then half we go. And so chop it up. Yeah, so chop back in about five minutes. Oh, we forgot something. Stacey mentioned earlier on, I'll show you a secret recipe. And then you have to cook your local curry. Just make sure, say, you take a look at something in it. Because it's the devil, you know, the devil. Yeah, yeah, what is that? Yeah, just a little curry on it, you know. You get the vibes. Don't share it with nobody else. You need just a little bit. Just a little bit, all right? And then that make a whole difference in the taste and the whole experience. But still in that. No. Yeah. No. Five minutes. All good to go. Plant and ready. Rice around us in a container. So this now, next thing to go. So I'm ready, so check in about five minutes. Yeah. Yeah, you have it over here. Curry axe steel and bean. It's only for spinners in it. Writing. Video coming soon. Make sure you touch the notification bell to be notified. Uh, uh, video drop ASAP, 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 ASAP. So please look out for it. Tag team between Stacy and of course myself. Sorry, I still am being again. The baddest thing to so make sure you look out for it. That is it.